This is the Kusuma KSM coin 10 year overview reading for the years 2020 through 2029. It's currently February 6th, 2023, 9.34 p.m. Eastern Time. We're actually just re recording the audio for whatever reason the audio didn't record when we originally did this reading. Um, orig the, vi the video was actually created on December 7th, 2022, um, for your information. All right, so the overall theme and behavior for, for Kasuma, uh, and by the way, it's currently $35.26 at the time of this reading. So the overall theme and behavior for Kasuma throughout the 10 year period, um, we have a major resistance, uh, like on a multi-year scale, major resistance that we come up against multiple times. Um, and we're unable to break through. It's crossed with an over an overbought crest that we sell off from. Behavior around the highest high, we have three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level, confirming a bullish trend, which since it's at the high, that bullish trend obviously doesn't, doesn't hold. Um, and then it looks like the, the behavior around the lowest low will sell off from a crest somewhere near the low. So like within like a year or two, possibly the same year, but within a year or two, um, we sell off from a crest down to and through a support level. We do a U-shape reversal, come back and reuse it as support. Um, that's that's support on a multi-year scale. Uh, in 2020, we had a notable decline through multiple support levels, followed by, it looks like into 2022, there was decline that offers an opportunity to open up a long position. Um, sorry, that's 2021. In 2022, we have sideways rotation. Increasing with bullish momentum as we move forward in time. Uh, in 2023, we have an important bottom. There's a notable decline and an important bottom um, on the scale of a, of a multi-year scale. Uh, and then 2024, we have a breakout on a multi-year scale. So that'll be a pretty bullish year. 2024 looks like um, probably an opportunity in, in, in 2023 as well. We see a new high in 2025, usually on, on a like a multi-year. When we're looking at, at a card representing a whole year, we get into slightly different um, meanings of the cards, you could say. And so in the case of this, the abundance card in a lot of cases is a, is a new high. I'd say that this is a new high and we break through a resistance level momentarily, we stay above it and then we break back down, stay above it briefly and then we break back down through the same price level after that. But that is followed by a big move in 2026 to the upside, reaching for a distant resistance level. Um, 2027, however, we have a notable decline. This may be some like a decline for crypto in general, not just Kasuma. I'd have to look closer, but a lot of the time that's what happens when you see the universe card. In any case, a pretty big decline. And then in 2024, we should be rallying along a diagonal trend line. And that, that rally will end with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. However, in 2026, we push, we have a notable, like this is a big, big move on a multi-year scale. We pushed the up, and this is 2029, I'm sorry, I said 2026, 2029, um, the Aeon card, we, we pushed the upper end of a range higher. Um, so this is, this is definitively bullish. Um, I'm advised to trade around a period of volatility, volatility that ends with a fast sudden move higher. Um, and the, the uh, sneak preview for the following 10 year period, it looks like there's a key resistance there that's highlighted. Um, we'll, we'll get into it in more detail in the pattern recognition portion. If you're watching this on TikTok, um, you can see the full prediction uh, on our website, tarotfortraders.com or on the YouTube channel, Tarot for Traders, um, where we get into the uh, pattern recognition and we identify where the highs are and the lows are, as well as um, trade opportunities. So uh, check that out. We have roughly a 98% average accuracy and you don't have to wait 10 years to see that. You can look at our daily predictions that go by the hour. Um, with that said, everybody else, please hang tight. We're gonna get into the pattern recognition portion here in just a second. All right, so based on the uh, pattern recognition portion, it looks like um, there is an opportunity to get in here. We're, we're at like price levels here in 2023 that are probably pretty uh, notable like opportunity um, to open up a long position. We have a breakout in 2024 and what appears to be probably a new, new high in 2025, followed by a significant sell off there in 2025 um, to a low like a 10 year, uh, like a lowest low in this 10 year period. Um, and then that's followed by a big move out of that low in 2026, reaching for distant resistance. Uh, but that's probably what I would do is I would exit um, 
at like an, at the new high here in 2025. After we break out 2024, there's a new high in 2025. I would I would exit there. That's what I would do. That's K Kasuma KSM coin for the 10 year period 2020 through 2029. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, my friends. Most importantly, make sure you follow that rule of karma when you make money from this reading. Pay a little bit of that forward. But we recommend about five percent. Pay a little bit of that backwards. We recommend about five percent. You can um, you can pay that back to the channel here at uh, pay our PayPal or Cash App links in the resources tab of tarotfortraders.com. And whatever you spend that money on, make sure you spend it out of love. As long as you do that, the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold in all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.